Hi, this is Eric from the African Homestead. Welcome. I've never really done a vlog before, and uh, I've done some how-to videos and some things about my garden. Um, but today, I just want to show you kind of what my Sunday afternoon looks like. It's, uh, it's the one day a week that I'm pretty much here alone, and uh, um, kids are playing in the background, but as far as having the, the, the man that helps me with the garden, or helps me with the animals, um, there, everyone's off today, and so it's just me, and I'll be taking care of everything. So I just want you to join me as I walk around the yard, take care of my garden, take care of the animals, and uh, just get let you get that inside view. Well, today what I'm going to start off with is uh, feeding the animals. Uh, as you can see in the bed behind me, that we have already uh, harvested the potato greens from the bed today. Usually, just kind of go in and and randomly cut them out, but you can see that it's it, there's some thin spots there. And by next Sunday, this will all fill back in full again. And the key here is just to keep some water on it. And, uh, and we're also today, as I get back into the garden, I'm going to be treating everything with the compost tea. And so you can take a look at that video when you have a chance. Well, here's our bucket of potato greens. So let's just grab that and head out to the animals. Getting excited. The rabbits are all ready. I just was able to get this one to breed with this doe down here. So, here in about 27 days, we're going to have some new kits. So, I just take some of these. And divide them up into this bunch. I'm just going to tie on and give to the goats. Guys, <laughs> hungry? All right. Oh, just everybody is excited to see me. There we go. Want some? All right, let's hang this up. I need to use both hands for this job. All right. So the husband and wife here are all set. So let me go get some greens for the rabbits. Oh, and also I did just breed this guy with this girl here. So we're at the same time. And so we're gonna have two litters here in just a few weeks. While I'm here, I do wanna check the nesting boxes because uh yep we got a small egg here you can see how tiny these things are but uh had a problem with a rooster we bought an american rooster a uh, leghorn well that leghorn had a bad habit of eating eggs and he suddenly died after a couple of months again i, I didn't have anything to do with it um but after he died then all the hens started eating their own eggs and uh I, you know you think it's a dietary issue um, we you know we feed them they get food but I, I think it's just a bad habit they developed and so when I see eggs in here I have to grab them otherwise so I come back a few hours later they're gonna be gone oh, wow we just had we just about had some bloodletting here the uh, while I was while I was getting some greens usually I leave the ghosts to eat theirs and everything's just fine but uh, today before they even finish eating it they decided to push the the door open on the coop and both both the uh, male and female went and took off running uh, my dog Layla that I mentioned in a previous video half Labrador half retriever they just pushed the gate open again hey guys come on anyway half half Labrador half uh, Rottweiler she apparently also has some shepherding skills because she was able to stop them and I mean, just like watching a, a highly trained Australian shepherd herding sheep, she just ran around. They had nowhere to go. She she was like one dog on all sides of them, and somehow herded them back into into the 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 the, the coop here, into this fenced area, and uh, and they ran back in. Unfortunately, she followed them in, and she 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 attacked the the buck, 
but uh, luckily he's not bleeding. But uh, anyway, I got her back out. And it's always exciting here. Now back to feed the rabbits. Okay. One. Hey, guy, you can't be over here on this side. Come on. Let's move back. You're over here. All right, coming for you guys next. Okay, before we go, go ahead and fill your water up. And this this girl, by the way, is a is a thief. She'll come. We have these little holes here, and she will come and jump up here and steal. See how she does that? Just a sneaky thief you are. You don't even look the least bit guilty. So for each rabbit, I give 20 stems. And you probably want to know how it came about with the number of 20. Well, I started out with 10, and that wasn't enough. So then I upped it to 20, and uh, it seemed like that was enough. And also on Sundays, I like to give uh, the rabbits a little bit of a treat, so we're going to head over here to the plantain. We burnt a little bit last night. Looks like it's pretty much out. Okay, it looks like the fire got a little hot on the plantain, but it still work. I should just cut one of these off. Got one of these on. They're, of course, they have fire ants on them. So, uh, gotta be careful. And I'll give these to the rabbits. They love the leaf off the banana and the plantain. All right, guys. Ready for a treat? All right. There you go. Yeah, I usually just kind of crush it up, stick it in there, and then let them go to town. They love that banana leaf. Of course, the chickens like the potato greens too. The goats are sloppy eaters, so there's plenty for the chickens to take part in. Now we'll get some of that coconut cake for my friends at Liberia Pure. It's good stuff, and we actually we can eat this too if we wanted to mix it in. Uh, there's a product here called Gari. You just uh, you make it like oatmeal. And we can use this. This is good quality. We can use it in cooking. Ooh, who wants some? Who wants some? Come on, who wants some? Everybody wants some. Here we go. Uh. Everybody loves a coconut cake. So to mix up this compost tea, take one part of the concentrate, 
and then you put in with that 10 parts of water. So I have some rainwater I've collected here and we'll just put 10 parts in. Well, it sometimes occurs I've made a mistake. So we have uh, five parts water and my pitcher is full. So I'm gonna need to dilute this again and, uh, and find another pitcher, I guess, or a bigger bucket. There we go, bigger bucket to the rescue. Okay, 10 parts, and then we'll just put some of that back in the pitcher. Head over to the garden. Here we have the zucchini. This zucchini I planted uh, some during the rainy season and it failed miserably, but now that the dry season is here, it is just doing fantastic. So I'm putting about um, roughly a third of the pitcher onto each plant. I'm not sure what happened to this guy here. So this is the cantaloupe here. I'm really excited about that because you cannot you cannot find cantaloupe in Liberia at all. It's not sold in the supermarkets. Nobody grows it. But just look at all the blooms, all the blossoms. And so uh, I really, really hope this makes it. I love good cantaloupe. The cucumbers are another crop that I'm really excited about. I mean, these things are just going crazy. So this is the Ashley variety. As you can see, it is just, there blooms all over the place and just starting to set some fruit. And uh, this, so this is the Ashley variety. It's slicing cucumber. You can see how big the leaf is. Over here is what we call the Arkansas little leaf. And the biggest leaf on the little leaf is very tiny. The whole thing is just smaller. It's more compact in every way. And uh, just like, the Ashley, it's got just blossoms all over the place. And so they're all doing very well. I'm super stoked about this. Well, I was able to use all the compost tea. Unfortunately, I ran out before I finished fertilizing all of the garden. So what I'm gonna do next week, I'm going to mix up something new uh, using rabbit and goat and a little bit of chicken manure uh, and make a manure tea. And this is something that will follow a similar process. It'll go for three days. It'll take care of all the passion, uh, blah, blah, blah. it'll take care of all the pathogens and all the bad stuff that's in, especially in the chicken manure, and, uh, and make this really nice high nitrogen tea that I'm gonna use uh, mainly on my corn, uh, which is a heavy feeder, and then also on my potato greens, which are slowing down in their growth in this dry season. Fortunately, I was able to feed all of my avocados, so they're good to go. I was able to put some on the potato greens, not as much as I as I wanted to. Um, I wasn't, this corn, I was able to give it some, uh, three out of the four rows, and then that's where I ran out. The corn is a little strange because it's already, as you can see here, um, it is already heading out. And so some of this, and it's literally about three feet tall. This is supposed to grow to about seven feet, 
The days are shorter here. I mean, this is a this is a North American seed. The days are shorter here than the summers in, say, in Kansas, um, but it should be taller than this. This I mixed about 50-50 compost with the soil, and then I haven't fertilized it since then, other than some top dressing of compost. And what we planted over here that's now coming up, uh, that is 100% compost. We completely dug dug out the trenches, filled it full of compost, so I expect it to do better. And then the other thing I'm trying is instead of planting one and then thinning them, I planted two, two together in each hole. And uh, we're gonna let those grow up just, again, to experiment, try it out, see how it works. But the zucchini's looking fantastic. The Liberian pumpkin is fantastic. The cantaloupe is fantastic. What you can't see over there except a little bit is the watermelon, which is really not doing well. Um, but all of that got fertilized. Uh, my cucumbers got fertilized. Uh, the tomatoes over here that are already bearing, uh, they have some small fruit on them. I fertilized them. Um, and the sweet peppers over behind the cucumbers got fertilized. Uh, the Liberian hot peppers, which is that long row, I haven't fertilized those. So I'll, I'll, when I get the new mixture done, I'll go ahead and put that on the hot peppers. Well, that's it for today's vlog. Uh, just a little insight into what happens here on Sunday afternoons. And so I hope you enjoyed coming along. I uh, just spent probably three hours. Uh, for me, I really enjoy working out here with the animals, except when they escape. And I enjoy working the garden, except for the fire ants. And I enjoy making these videos, except for nothing early. Uh, if you will, please click the subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, advice, please uh, leave that below. And also share about the African homestead with your friends and let them join along. Have a great week. Bye-bye.